There are battles we never see, silent ones, inside people's bodies. And sometimes those battles are called cancer. What is cancer really? It's not just a lump, not just a mutation. Cancer is a system, a rebellion inside your body. Cells that have stopped listening to the rules. Cells that lie, cheat, manipulate and invade. And worst of all, they never stop growing. What if there was another way, a way to shut down multiple cancer pathways at once? And here's the real kicker. This strategy might help us reprogram proteins in healthy cells one day too. HIV, Hepatitis C, Coronaviruses, they all hijack NMT. The company leading this change is based in Alberta. They are the pioneers behind Zelenistat. In this episode, we dive into a quiet revolution. A molecule called Zelenistat, a drug that doesn't just attack cancer, it confuses it, it drains it, it leaves it disoriented and powerless. This is in science fiction. It's science finally catching up. Before we jump into today's episode, I just want to say something from the heart. Over 93% of the people who watch this podcast regularly haven't subscribed. And listen, I get it. Life is busy. You click, you watch, you move on. But if you've ever felt like this show brings you value, if it has made you think, sparked a new idea, introduced you to something inspiring, then I have a small favor to ask. Please hit that subscribe button. It might not seem like much, but to me, it means everything. This podcast has always been a labor of love. No sponsors, no script, just honest conversations with people trying to make a difference in the world of healthcare. And your support, your one click, helps me keep doing that. It helps more people discover these voices. It helps this community grow. So if you're here, if you believe in this, please consider subscribing. Thank you for being here. Now let's get into the episode. There are battles we never see. Silent ones inside people's bodies. And sometimes those battles are called cancer. We talk a lot about war on cancer, but what if we've been fighting it the wrong way? What if instead of aiming for the obvious, we simply pull the plug on its power source? In this episode, we dive into a quiet revolution. A molecule called Zelenistat, a drug that doesn't just attack cancer, it confuses it. It drains it. It leaves it disoriented and powerless. But that's not all. This same drug could hold the key to fighting viruses too. This is in science fiction. It's science finally catching up. Now, let me slow down here a little. Strip it back. What is cancer really? It's not just a lump. Not just a mutation. Cancer is a, is a system. A rebellion inside your body. Cells that have stopped listening to the rules. Cells that grow when they shouldn't. Cells that lie, cheat, manipulate and invade, these cells form their own rogue cities. They build supply chains, send coded messages, hack the body's immune system. And worst of all, they never stop growing. Now imagine if you could cut the power, cancel their signal, pull the wires out from behind their dashboard. And that's what NMT inhibitors aim to do. NMT stands for n myristyl transferase. Sounds complicated, but stay with me. NMT's job is to tag proteins. Specifically, it attaches a little fatty acid called myristate. Think of it as a GPS signal, a digital stamp, a passport. Proteins need direction, and they need to know where to go inside the cell, whether that's the membrane, the nucleus, or somewhere else. Myristate gives them that direction. Without it, they are lost, useless, like a parcel with no label, a taxi with no passenger, or worse, a passenger in a taxi with no driver. And in cancer, that GPS is everything. Many of the proteins that make cancer cell aggressive, resistant, and fast-growing rely on myristylation. So when you block NMT, you block the process that activates those proteins. You confuse the system. You make cancer forget how to survive. And that's what makes Zelenistat so exciting. It doesn't just go after one mutation, it goes after the infrastructure, the wiring, the operating system. And here's the real kicker. This strategy might help us reprogram proteins in healthy cells one day too. Imagine being able to guide them where we want, fix broken process, even prevent disease before it starts. And that's the promise, that's the vision. If you've watched someone go through cancer, you already know. It's not just a disease, it's a disruption. 
to the body, to the family, to life itself. And treatments are brutal. Chemo kills everything, healthy or not. Immunotherapy helps some, but not most. Targeted therapies? Cancers often find workarounds. What if there was another way? A way to shut down multiple cancer pathways at once? Silently, strategically, without detonating the whole system. And that's what NMT inhibitors represent. A smarter way to fight. Not louder, just more precise. And Zelenistat, it's the first of its kind in human trials. A quiet contender. And maybe a giant leap forward. Zelenistat targets NMT1. That's the version of enzyme most cancers depend on. Shut it down and the cancer cells can't run its program. It's like turning off the power grid in a hostile base. The phone stop ringing, the fuel pump stall, the command center goes dark. One key example, the beta cell receptor pathway, a lifeline for certain leukemias and lymphomas. Zelenistat disrupts it. Early data shows it can cause cancer cells to self-destruct while leaving healthy cells alone. And that is nothing short of a miracle. It's gold. But here's what no one expected. Cancer isn't the only enemy using our cellular GPS system. Viruses do it too. HIV, hepatitis C, coronaviruses, they all hijack NMT. They rely on it to replicate, to build viral particles, to spread. So what happens if you block it? You stop the virus before it even assembles. And that's why researchers are asking, could Zelenistat become a broad-spectrum antiviral? Could it be the next line of defense in future pandemics? It's early days, but the implications are enormous. Zelenistat is currently in phase 1 and 2 trials in Canada. So far, the signals are promising, especially in blood cancers. The company leading this change is Pacilix Pharmaceuticals, based in Alberta. They are the pioneers behind Zelenistat, bringing together decades of research in protein regulation, cell signaling, and cancer biology. Their work is also supported by major academic collaborators, including researchers from the University of Alberta, who first identified the drug's cancer-killing potential. And globally, interest is rising. Several pharmaceutical companies and biotech investors are closely watching NMT as a target, not just for cancer, but also as a frontier in antiviral drug development. If trials continue to go well, Zelenistat could be in later stage clinical studies within the next two to three years. And if the data holds, we may see it available to patients before the end of this decade. Now, in the world of drug development, that's fast. But for patients waiting on something that works, it can't come fast enough. Science moves slowly, but every now and then, it stumbles on something quietly powerful. Zelenistat might be one of those things, a molecule that cuts the noise, gives us clarity. And if this episode gave you pause or a little hope, share it. Because someone you know might need to hear it. I'm Kaushik Trivedi and this is Drug Diaries. Until next time, stay curious, stay human and stay healthy. 